Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. I hope that you're having an amazing day. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I have an amazing, huge, like huge crystal haul to go over with you guys. Um, I ordered this package off of Etsy. It was super affordable. It was only 30 bucks for everything that you're going to see. And I think it was such a great bargain because when I go to crystal stores near me or in the city or just online, I think maybe like three crystals could end up costing the 30 bucks that I spent on this huge box set. So I highly recommend this if you're new to crystals or just want to kind of stock up on your basics. I think the basics are such an amazing place to start because, you know, you could get different exotic varieties of crystals, but these basics are really going to help ground you, help align you, and just get you started on this path of crystal healing and energy work. So without further ado, let's kind of jump into it. Um, I still have it in the box I, I, online. I did cleanse them with the sage that it came with, and the sage is actually here. So it did come with one white sage stick, and I used it to cleanse these yesterday because I kind of wanted to start working with them. But it, they came in a box like this. I'm trying not to spill it out, and it's amazing. It came with two geodes. I'm going to just quickly go over it. Two geodes, a selenite wand, a chakra pendulum, a chakra clearing spray, um, these chakra, <laughs> what are these? Chakra healing stones to work with, which are just more crystals. Another crystal point, black tourmaline chunk, and a rose quartz. So I'm going to go into further detail about all of these stones for anyone who's new um, or just want, you know, what my take on these stones are. I did write it down because I didn't really want to give you any misinformation or jip you of anything. So um, with the chakra pendulum, and I'll do close-ups of these, insert them here. Um, this chakra pendulum, I actually didn't really know what a chakra pendulum was until I looked it up and it's basically to check if your chakras are open or closed, um, if they're out of whack, imbalanced, and I used it on my family and on myself. It was so much fun. So in short, when you have it, you're going to put it over your different chakra points on your body and essentially what happens is if it stays still, that means you, that chakra is closed. If it doesn't move at all, it's closed. If it moves counterclockwise, that means it is out of alignment or just imbalanced. So it is open, but it's the energy's essentially flowing backwards counterclockwise. If it moves clockwise, that means you're in balance. Then there's a bit more like detailed stuff. So if it's moving quickly, that means it's like um, an over amount or more energy than there should be in that uh, chakra flowing and then if it moves kind of slowly and like kind of lazy like then that means it's under energy and there needs to be more to flow in there so it could be partially closed or something like that so if you're interested in working more with like Reiki or just healing and chakras definitely invest in this pendulum or just in this box set but I really love it it has all the chakra all seven chakras kind of hidden in this pendulum and I love it. It's fun. It's just, it's a great little check-in for yourself. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'll start with the big ones, I guess, first. So the first big little beautiful geo I have here is this amethyst. It is just so stunning, so stunning. You'll see in the close-ups, it's breathtaking. I love it. I love how much energy is just going to be flowing in my room and amethyst is pretty common knowledge it deals with your uh, third eye chakra and it's basically just for your um, kind of psychic abilities or intuition um, it really is a great healing stone and it just its energy is just so lovely and flowing and it's really good just to have um, to help you know get rid of that negative energy and keep that third eye chakra open and aware and it's just great I leave it on my desk and I put it with this clear quartz clear quartz geode and clear quartz is another pretty common one but it's amazing it's an amplifier so be very aware of how you program it your thoughts around it and where you're placing it in your room um, a lot of people say not to keep clear quartz near your bed because it is an amplifier its energy could be a little loud so um, what I do is I keep it next to the amethyst and the reason I have both of those on my desk is because I have all of my kind of inspirational things there. Like I have my vision board, I have my calendar. So um, to me, like this placement is just perfect because it's amplifying the things that I'm trying to manifest and the good vibes and I work there. So 
basically uh, put clear quartz where you want to amplify the vibration and the energy. And like a double-edged sword, if you're having negative energy near it, it will amplify that. So just be super aware, but it's such a great stone and it helps get rid of negative energy as well. So beautiful, beautiful geodes. And they're like my first because I do have um, a, uh, goodness gracious, a celestite kind of geode. Um, I have it here on the side actually. It looks a little bit like this and it's also as beautiful but these geodes are just like stunning. They're stunning. Um, and then I have a, just a pretty common rose quartz but I actually have lost them which I, I really don't know how to take that but I've lost all of my rose quartz which is quite upsetting so I just really needed another chunk of it and I'm glad that I have it back in my life and I love its loving energy if you didn't know rose quartz is associated with your heart chakra it's for unconditional love self-love self-worth all that jazz um, so it's really great if you want to open up that heart chakra or just want to feel that loving energy and you can't help but feel it whenever you're near rose quartz it's a lot of people's favorites. So next we have this selenite wand and I had a selenite slab but when I went to Texas I pff, Texas has a lot of my crystals I left like three behind I don't know how that happened but uh, selenite is just such a good uh, kind of c calming mental flexibility stone um, and I wrote down here Selenite is good for mental clarity, psychic ability, angels, and enhances mental flexibility and decision-making skills. Um, so that's what it technically means, but I know for a lot of people it has a very soothing energy. That's probably because it's related to the angel stone family. So um, it's good for like communicating with those spirit guides, but to me it's just such a good it's so high vibe. Um, whenever you kind of have it, it, it just you can't help but kind of feel very light and airy and for some people it's actually really potent and they can't hold it for too long because they start getting dizzy because of those high vibes so if you find that you're really up in your head a lot this might be too much of a stone for you but if you're very grounded then um, it's just the perfect combination to help align yourself more so this is great for meditating great for calming it also charges your crystals so a lot of people have like selenite charging stations i just kind of keep it in the middle of all my stones so that they all kind of get that energy going next big slab i have is this black tourmaline 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 correct me in the comments below <laughs> please um and this is such a great grounding stone. Pretty much you're going to notice a pattern with crystal colors. Um, black is usually a grounding stone. So black tourmaline I wrote here is great. It blocks negative energy and it's a grounding stone like I mentioned and it's supposed to help with like um, dispelling any of negative energy within you and around you and protecting you from any psychic attacks. So um, if you have like just negative energy flowing towards you this will kind of keep it away but it's also supposed to help keep you calm hence like the grounding so I think meditating with this and with selenite is such a good um, combination a because it's grounding and high vibe but because they both kind of work together to calm the inner mind so excited about that the next kind of larger stone that I have is this clear quartz point and I actually have been putting it next to my vision board on my desk um, to amplify so um, I have this so I have two quartz on my desk I have the quartz geode and then the point and the point I put directly up um, below my vision board pointing up so that it's amplifying those manifestations and desires and that's just kind of what I do with my points I put them like I said, very intentionally around my room, either pointing to a crystal and towards me or towards something that is like high vibe like my vision board. So um, super excited about this. So glad to have another point to add into my life. Okay, now we're gonna work into, well actually, before I get into the chakra healing stones, this is the aromatherapy chakra kind of it says harmonizing blend of seven essential oils so what's inside of it is witch hazel water essential oils um, that are eucalyptus rosemary lavender cedarwood rose petals uh, peppermint and lang lang I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that um, 
I used this yesterday in yoga. I sprayed it on my mat and on my arms and it is the perfect just like a very soothing combination and you can tell just by the what's in it eucalyptus rosemary lavender all those are very calming um, essential oils so this is so great I think you're supposed to use it in like performing a Reiki ceremony or like healing um, and spray it over your client but I just spray it on my mat and I love it um, I hope I can purchase like this bottle on its own but uh, if you buy this box you're just gonna you, I can't there's no smell of the gym but it's amazing so calming so next thing is I have this um, little pouch that they came in and I love that because pouches are so great to uh, bring your crystals in if you're traveling or anything like that because it keeps them clean and clear from any other outside energy. So within this there is each little stone and I'll do a close up of these two, don't worry. And um, they, I'm not going to go in necessarily the order that they're in in the chakra body but um, essentially what we have is this is yellow aventurine and this is associated with your solar plexus and it's supposed to help with like prosperity and confidence and abundance so what I wrote down for this is do, 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 do. yellow aventurine aids in your self-esteem boosting self-confidence and self-worth it's an, a good stone to help you manifest and increase in money so once again um, associated with that solar plexus so it's really good if you are maybe job hunting or um, going on interviews or looking to get a raise carry this with you work with it and you will see some abundance popping into your life I'm really excited about that actually I'm, I'm, I want to meditate with it because I'm in the process of job hunting and interviewing and all that so next I'm going to go over is red jasper and I actually just brought this on my Trader Joe's interview red jasper is good for physical strength and energy stamina focus and determination so when I was reading up more on it it was talking about how it was considered the warrior stone that's kind of like the feeling you get it's a very spartan red leather color if you know what I mean um, and I love it it really does kind of give off that vibe of uh, just like sheer will and like determination which is something you kind of need um, that kind of stoic um, courage especially when you're going on interviews it's good stuff I'm excited to work with that. Next we have Sodalite and whenever I think of Sodalite, I think of my friend Morgan Tim. She's here on YouTube and she has an amazing blog. Check her out. I'll have her link down below. I actually did a collab with her last winter. But um, Sodalite just reminds me of her because she carried it when she had her internship in New York. So Morgan, this one's for you. But Sodalite, and I wrote down a bit more on it, it's supposed to help you with developing your intuition and stimulate psychic visions. Uh, it's really good for kind of enhancing your creativity and your mental abilities, so that's why she carried it at her desk. But most importantly, it's associated with, associated with your throat chakra. Most blue stones are. And um, this is going to help you speak your truth. So it's good if you're kind of in a work environment where you know you have a lot of meetings and, you, and you're on a creative team. Um, I would consider this a stone to have on your desk or just carry around with you, especially if you're kind of a writer too, um, or just any creative field really, if I'm going to be honest. So the light, so great. And it just is very calming too, it's mainly because of the blue. So speaking of blue, uh, this is lapis lazuli. I always mispronounce this. It's lapis lazuli. Pretty sure I'm saying it right. Very similar to sodalite in that it is good for the higher mind and enhancing your intellectual abilities. Um, it's good for kind of if you're going back to school or you're in school because it helps you kind of focus and want to learn, which I know sounds super weird, but it's also known as the stone of truth and it encourages honesty. And um, yeah, so it's good if you like you you have to have like a deep talk with someone. Definitely bring this little buddy around. Um, and yeah, so it's also associated with your throat chakra. Next we have another amethyst, and well, we went over what that is. It's for psychic abilities and all that jazz. Then we have. Green Aventurine, and this is associated with your heart chakra, just like the rose. Pink and green are usually associated with your heart, and the green Aventurine is also good for your confidence and 
It um, helps you with honesty in your relationships. So this is another great stone to have. It's also supposed to help promote abundance. So most um, aventurines are for that. So yellow and green and pink are all super great little crystals to have with you. And this last one, this last one is orange calcite. Now I actually didn't, I actually didn't look up orange calcite. So let me do that now. Ooh, this is a good one, you guys. So my computer says, or Google says, orange calcite is for emotional healing. So it can relieve emotional fear, mental breakdown, depression, or any type of kind of negative like super negative thoughts um, like they're saying like divorce suicidal type of things um, so this is associated with your sacral chakra which is down below um, which makes sense why it's good for emotional healing because you actually store a lot of your kind of first memories and a lot of your traumas down there so for a lot of people who have like kind of family issues they're usually pretty blocked or out of alignment down there so this is a fun little stone to work with and essentially if you are working with these like with um, kind of like Reiki healing or just in general like crystal healing you would put these apply these on the points of the body and have a person meditate while you did your Reiki over them or just in general you could put it on your body and meditate and kind of take in their energy if that's something that you're into or you know at the end of the day these are pretty stones I know that a lot of people keep them for aesthetic reasons but um, if you use them for you know, spiritual reasons, that's how you would essentially use these. They're also good for meditating is what I would kind of argue. So for me, like these are probably going to be palm stones, little things I carry around with me all day. So I have their energy. And that is it. That is everything in this haul. But if you know crystals and you shop for them regularly, this is such an amazing little haul. And I'm so excited about these geodes. Um, so yeah, I love this store. I'm definitely going to purchase more from this person. They're in Utah and it got here pretty quickly. Like I'm talking, I ordered this maybe Saturday and it got here. Yeah. On Saturday on a, on a, on a weekend, on a holiday weekend. And it got here today is Thursday. So I think, I mean, Ooh, today's Friday, but it didn't ship until Tuesday. I didn't get the notification that it shipped until Tuesday. So this came in two days from Utah. I think that's pretty dang fast. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited about these and I hope that you enjoyed. I know a lot of you out there who enjoyed my last crystal videos because they actually have quite a large amount of views. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And if you're not subscribed and you like what you see here, then definitely press that red subscription button down below. Just means I pop into your feed whenever there's a new video out. And I've been kind of on a roll lately. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. I'm pretty proud of myself. I actually am currently filming and editing a fall kind of lookbook video. Um, I don't know if it's going to be necessarily back to school, but it will be a fall lookbook video. So keep your eyes peeled for that in the upcoming weeks. But um, I will see you in my next one. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.